We're live. You're muted. <laughs> I am indeed. Don't worry about it. It's fine. If I get it out of the way at the beginning of the session, that means it won't happen again throughout the rest of the session. Right? That's that's how it works. That's lies. That sounds right. Lies. That sounds accurate. Lies. The duality. Uh, <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to another episode of The Mind of the Martyr. It is episode 65. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope you are hydrated. Happy. I don't know. I, I lost my words there, so we'll roll with it. Um, I hope you are happy though. Uh, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into things, have some fun. First of all though, uh, you would have seen the uh, Dice Envy spot just then. We are affiliates with Dice Envy. Link is in the chat for that. <coughs> We are also uh, affiliates with the wonderful folks at Grinding Coffee, a black LGBT plus owned and ran uh, coffee company. They are fantastic. They do a whole bunch of different uh, blends and flavors and packs that you can go ahead and get at their website, Grinding Coffee Co. And they also do sample packs. So if you're maybe a little kind of unsure of which flavor you want to go for, or you just have decision paralysis and you want to go with all of them, uh, go ahead and grab some solo packs. Why not? Uh, go ahead and check them out. Throw in FWRD for some money off your order. You'll be supporting an independent business, a Black LGBT plus owned business, and you'll be helping out the channel as well. Let's go ahead and check them out. <clears throat> We are also a Roll20 Spotlight uh, partnered stream. Roll20 is an online tool set that you can use to bring your pen and paper RPGs to the screen. Uh, they have their actual uh, site itself, roll20.net, where you can sign up for free and set up games with anyone around the world, as long as you have an internet connection. And they're wonderful. You can also pay uh, for pro and premium packs, which will give you access to a bunch of cool features. Um, whether you just need like the free character sheets to keep track of things, or whether you want to go into the marketplace, pick up a bunch of games or assets for your games, and include things like uh, dynamic health bars, dynamic lighting, uh, those kinds of things. There's also going to be a night mode added. Uh, so fi finally, finally, night mode is the, the, the superior way to handle apps. There, I said it. Um, yeah, go ahead and check them out at roll20.net. This is how we roll. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and jump right into the session. Um, does anyone want to recap for the folks who did not watch last session um, or just haven't gotten around to it yet? What exactly happened? Gay panic. Correct. <laughs> Lots of gay. There was a lot of gay panic. A lot of gay stammering and a lot of gay panic. Uh, my mom harassed people. People? As moms person. are a person. <laughs> <laughs> My mom harassed my partner, as moms ought to do. Uh, my dad... Oh, wait, shit, wait, fuck. Our fucking cliffhanger. Oh, I'm sorry God. for all the swear. Our cliffhanger is my dad was going to give me. Give me my thing. Let's start. What was my dad going to give me? Yeah, fair. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, it's all rushing back to me. Yes. Uh, Nawi's, uh ceremony was a complete success. We went through a little bit of what happened during the ceremony, and now the revelry has begun in the Verdant Vale. There were indeed some awkward conversations, both between parents and yourselves, and between each other, because you're both gay and socially awkward, as most tend to be. Uh, <laughs> but you did eventually have a discussion, settle on a, a thing settle on a thing and then retreated your way back to get some rest um you all got your long rests in as uh jacaranda and mara were helping the situation out jacaranda gathering information for possible gifts for mara um which happened last session which i'm super interested to see how that's going to pan out but uh, <laughs> uh yeah so when we left off you had retreated back into the Brightscale residence, 
had settled for a little while, had gotten a little bit of sleep in before there was a knock at the door. And Noe, your father, stepped in. They were carrying this very long... I was outside. I only sleep outside. Oh, yes, you were outside, sorry. Yes, correct. You were in the... Uh, your, your own little camping tent, and they had stepped inside. My apologies. Yes, I was, um, out, I was out in my junior ranger fucking yes. encampment that I built at my house. At your own they house. Had, my own house, my boy <laughs> scout, my wolf scout fucking troop leader tent I built. Yes. <laughs> they had shouted to kind of get your attention and just check that you were, you know, okay, to give you a little bit of time for visitors and then had, uh, had shown you the box that they were carrying, this very long kind of relatively simple in terms of the wood itself, but covered in a mixture of very, very, very simple carvings and arcane inscriptions across the entire box itself. They're holding it and they've placed it down into their lap. As they're looking at you, they... All right, so... <clears throat> I'm not good at this part, so I'm just going to keep it... Um... What part? The... the Your dad the... pulls out birth control. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what you and your partner are up to. <laughs> the, the... The... The the talking part, the... It's birth the... control. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, me and Dor... I don't think that's a thing to worry about. No, 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 no. This is not that kind of. No, no, no. This is not that kind of chat. This oh. is not. No, no, no. Okay. Um, is I, no, 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 you no, know no, I, no, no. Okay. No, no. I just oh, oh. choked up. <clears throat> uh, Seen around the block. Just hands the box over <laughs> to you. <laughs> kind of taps it once and just. Um, hey, you gave me a box. Is it for keeping things? There was an item that I had made for your mother when I found out everything that was going on here and when I had stayed and... I'm not good with words, so I... Is this for me, or is this mum's? They want you to have it. The wedding dress. Oh. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> now, now he's like, is... <laughs> this isn't like, you know, when... Tim down the way, his mom gave him a uh, thing to give no, to. Now we open the box. Okay, because we I ju we just settled on the word partner like an hour ago. I don't. I just don't want you all to. Mother already tried to invite her to the reunion, and as I open in the box, this doesn't surprise me. That's your mother, and uh, opening the box inside, there's. <clears throat> First of all, the first thing you notice is, like, there is a full, like, velvet lining to this box. This box was expensive. Um, sections of the wood on the inside are also covered in arcane uh, scribings and sigils uh, all across it. Lying in this box is this very, uh, very beautiful green longbow. <clears throat> You're not entirely sure what the string is made out of, but it's definitely not a regular string. It seems a little... almost a little... tougher, more taut. Um, the... kind of the little... Mark, there's a little marker in the center, or just off the center of the string itself, where you would knock an arrow with a little bit more comfort, but 
that little section itself has a few few little runes and inscriptions across that little section of wood and metal. <clears throat> the bow itself appears to be designed very much for a bright scale. These two, what is very clearly made out of wood and reinforced with varnish and vinyl somehow, comes out into these two beautiful, decadent, draconic wing-like patterns that continue out and curve back and then join the rest of the bow. It also, with the slightest of arcane inlays, definitely not as much as the box, definitely there to do its magic, and that's it. It's very much been put into the bow to be hidden. Uh, it is a gorgeous piece. Uh, I, I cannot take, I'll break it. I don't think you will. Ooh, it, but it is very pretty. You know I go out there and kill people. This is very pretty. This is this should be like hung up somewhere. I know I put a lot of effort into how nice it looks, but it is also you very made, functional. You, okay, I, this seems, are you sure this wasn't like what you used to propose? This seems like some kind of thing like that. It was the it was the item I gave to your mother when I knew that I wanted to start a family. And so it makes sense for that to pass to someone else who is my family. And what now we do doing that doing something. mental math. Okay. But you're not like mother you understand like we like an hour ago we decided on the word partner you're not like you've literally just fig figured things out yes no i'm not <laughs> i'm not i'm just making sure because like giving mother. me something like this is thank you you're going to go for however long you're going to go i just want to set you up for success the best way that i know how it, this is. I get this from you. I'm not good with words either, but. And then she'll just give her dag a hug. Her dag a, a gug. <laughs> Gives dad a dug. <laughs> Your dag. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do the like pause thing for a moment as you kind of just wrap your arms around them, and then they'll just kind of slowly kind of slink into it and then just hold you taut and tight. And I think while she's, while I'm hugging, I will do my best to come back, but I would be lying if I did not say I was not scared. I, the things they've mentioned and that they have seen I will do my best to come home I know you will do not tell mother I said that she will not let me leave I wasn't planning to <clears throat> you and I both know that even if I told her about this current discussion that she would probably think that something was wrong and then refuse to let you go. I should hide this. I will have Lupa, Lupa, and Lupa comes over and she's like, she just does like some hand signals and Lupa leaves with the bow. I'll, I'll get it when we leave. Might be for the best for now, at least until I can have a small chat with her. So what? So uh, what's it do? I ask I ask my dad what it does, and he explains a cool way in fiction, but you tell me Austin what it does, please. <laughs> uh go ahead and add a dragon wing bow to your <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. God. <laughs> Those of you at home, 
when you hit an attack roll with this magical bow, it takes an extra 1d6 of the same type as the breath infused in the bow, which you don't know yet. Um, if you have no ammunition, it will make its own. All of a sudden, forks and things start missing from places because the bow is taken. <laughs> Where'd my fork go? That would be a great weapon, bow. Just like <laughs> the junk bow, right? <laughs> yeah, and you 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 load the bow, you you get it ready, and then it just pulls something from your party's bags. And just yeah, <laughs> I feel like there's a gun that does that in something. It's literally it, like a junk gun. It, I'm like, sorry, fires. in my I head, like, I thought fall you out, like, fall, fall out, gun. fall out, yeah. In my head, I thought you meant a real gun. I was like, I'm sorry, we have a real life gun that yeah. just like shoots trash. That yeah, there's a trash hilarious. gun out there somewhere. <laughs> a catapult? <laughs> catapult trash gun. <laughs> I think a slingshot. No? Slingshot? Trash gun. No, it, no, because you know, it doesn't make it. You like put something in still. You yes. don't like pull a slingshot and a rock flies from somewhere, somewhere. into yes. the slingshot. <laughs> I think it was, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are right. It was Fallout. I couldn't remember where it was from, but trash gun. I've never I... fallen out. Anyway, I, I'm good. <laughs> you can move on to someone else. Who has? We're all asleep. There's nothing to move on to. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> it. Next morning. All Next right. Next morning. <laughs> yeah. Breakfast. Party number two. Brunch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the title. Like the, the screen goes. It says all that on the screen. And then it I fades hope, is out. Is that the episode name? Because sh- if we didn't name the episode, <laughs> it should be. Oh, the, the episode. Party should... two of question. <laughs> no. Oh, I have something Brunch. to do before the Brunch. party. Because I'm supposed to talk with Nawi's dad. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like oh, to... yeah, please. Good luck. <laughs> Give me a book or something. Tell us about these mm-hmm. things. So you wake up a little earlier than everyone else. Make your way to the Bright Scale residence. And you find <clears throat> a little bit of a distance away from the building itself, kind of in this little, almost a, a, like a miniature grotto that's been set up. Um, you find them sitting there. Oh, catch your eye. Kind of beckoning I actually you over. stayed at the Bright Scales. I didn't go back to the village. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Excellent. The one was going to bring all the stuff. Regardless. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's going to freaking show up with everyone's stuff. <laughs> Just the pack mule. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so they'll kind of beckon you over and kind of gesture for you to take a seat. I <clears throat> did a little digging. Considering what you've mentioned and what you've told me, um, sounds like something I wasn't involved in, but something that I was aware of, at least when it comes to your mutated f- friends that you ran into um this all then they pull up a book kind of immediately open it flicking through a few pages and they'll kind of just point out a page uh what you see is <clears throat> half diary half research notes um talking about the projects like some kinds of projects that were being worked on, as well as what seems to be a separate column for personal opinions. It seems to be incredibly in-depth. The handwriting is very small. Um, There's a lot kind of kept on these pages. And let's scroll past and kind of point and just... I'm aware of creatures being bent against their will to gain traits and abilities of other creatures. That research was promptly stopped because, well, for obvious reasons. It's inhumane, it's cruel, 
torture, whatever you want to call it. It was messed up. And that research shouldn't have even began, but it did. And we keep records of everything that happens, kept records of everything that happens in case history were to repeat itself. I had an affiliation with some of the people that you've ran into. Not a lot, but an awareness, I guess you could say. Not enough to give you concrete details, I'm afraid, but enough to perhaps do a little more digging and see what I can let Nawi know, and then by extension, you will know. That'd be much appreciated. Um, I assume I can't borrow this book. So <laughs> copying the pages that he showed her because i assume there's other stuff in there <laughs> this is a big yeah this is a big, yeah. big book i'm afraid i can't exactly let this information go elsewhere but you're more than welcome to copy down what little is relevant in this section so she copies it especially for making notes for the one like about the process and the experiments because if she doesn't Dewan will come back and kill her so <laughs> murder her I in her sleep never <laughs> I would just mildly poison you inconveniently <laughs> see <laughs> so she spends the rest of until everyone gets there copying mm -hmm. uh roll me a history check out of curiosity. I'm good at that. Or Arcana, whichever's higher. Or Arcana. Uh... They're the same. 17. Okay. There are a few uh, symbols across the, uh, the margins of the book itself. Um, which you have seen before. Um, they are the symbol of the Skopika, who are the research division of the Magicana. Cool. I hate them. You can, I hate them. <laughs> you can go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and do that for a bit. Uh, anybody else wanted to do anything in the morning before we all reconvene? Um, I was getting a like children's reading book from someone to bring yes. to Jasmine. And I think that's the main thing I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Um, poke your head into just one of the uh, one of the buildings. Um, you probably would find out from a little discussion with people that uh, Nawi's father is one of the main educators in at least this part of the Vale, at the very least. The Vale doesn't exactly have formal schooling, but mm -hmm. they'll kind of go ahead and seek out teachers to learn certain things. Um, and they are a, a very good source of that kind of thing. Um, they've been teaching here for a good long while. So uh, yeah, you can pick one of those up, head back to, uh, to Jasmine and teach <laughs> you can sit there and read for a little bit and mm -hmm. uh you gather that they're, they're, they're very much still childlike so <clears throat> not a lot of the information is retaining yeah but also they just seem thrilled to have company they seem like a very social uh very social individual okay that's all really i was planning on doing <laughs> all right Awesome. You all awake? The usual hustle and bustle of the 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 veil kind of continues. Um, on top of 
the sound of laughter and merriment and music as pretty much the entire kind of like lead up uh like corridor sort of thing all of these houses kind of scattered to the sides the sides it's just one huge table just continuing all the way down there's loads of people sitting at it people that you've seen in the veil people that you've never seen in your life um all sat enjoying breakfast uh a little bit of singing and dancing here and there but just a general sense of positivity and merriment definitely a lot calmer and a lot uh, co- uh like more chill definitely more chill than uh, the night before but uh, everyone still seems to be very much in a, a jovial spirit um Rather amusingly, you see as groups of people kind of continue down here, you watch as a couple of people at the very end just grab another table out of thin air, add it to the end, add some chairs, they're like, boom, okay, there we go, hospitality. Anyway, moving on, (laughs) just go back to what they were doing. There is... Uh, Sorry, go on. Oh, I was going to just say, um, whenever Dewan stirs and gets ready to leave uh you walk out and lupa is sitting there with a very pretty box do i uh lupa's just like uh right i can talk here uh now we wanted you to keep to take this is this the first time (laughs) lupa has spoken to us here uh i think you i think she because she talked with mara okay all right uh there's just like a i didn't realize i didn't have to cast speak with animals yeah i don't i'm sorry no one it should be in the brochure you can't talk to me when we leave but now he likes you a lot uh what's something else i was gonna tell you you have uh, your familiar's nice. I like all of your, uh, potions and mushrooms and stuff. Um, you, great sense of style. You're great for my girl. Anyway, she wanted you to keep, to have this, um, or keep to, she wasn't very clear. She wanted me to bring it here. That's kind of all I got told. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'll see you at breakfast when she leaves. Wait. Do you think you could help? I, uh, you're Navi's. Never mind. I don't want to inconvenience you. But then, like, Dawan looks behind her at the pile of party stuff. I'll just stuff it all in the bag of holding, I suppose. Yeah, I should. I don't know. She just. She said you had to have it, and don't let her mother know that you have it. And if her mother finds out, then you'll both never hear the end of it. I'm not sure what it is. She just told me to bring it here. I'm sorry. If her mother finds out, she's going to speak even more than she already... D- okay. All right. Yes. Um, you just see Dawn Something open up about... the bag of holding and, like, comically <laughs> push this box into the bag of As holding. As Lupa's walking away, she's like, something about engagement or something. I don't know. Anyway. Engagement? She, she leaves. That one's just like holding this bag of holding. Hopefully, she stuck it in the right bag of holding. Yes, of course, <laughs> of course. I think the 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 usual bag of holding is like on her person, whereas the bag of holding is inside her medical case, like underneath a bunch of shit, um, for no one to find. Uh, Engagement. Engage. Weren't we just talking about? And Dawn's just going to be like putting some stuff into the bag of holding and also trying to figure out what's important and appropriate to bring to brunch that the party might need if they're going. Um, and yeah, she's going to. Dawn's going to stop. I, and say potentially farewell to Nene before she goes to brunch. Although, is Nene at brunch? Has Nene been invited to brunch? What is Nene's role in this society? 
<laughs> How friendly. I mean, is brunch, brunch is just a celebration for the veil. So yeah, they'd be there. They'd they'd be. Okay, well then maybe maybe there. maybe the two of us go together. That makes sense to me. All right. You and Minette head to brunch with whatever you end up deciding to bring <laughs> along with you. Um, there's... <laughs> Stepping like forwards, there's two, there's two spaces that have been held for you and your party. There's one space that's been held very clearly for Nene and uh, knowing that they currently had company. Uh, a little space has been held for you. And then further down the table, uh, another space has been held. And as you step forwards, next to that little space, that little group space, Binti turns and gives you a little, little finger waggle wave. Maybe we should go sit. Yes, yes. Yes, no, no, I'll see you later. Okay, I, was... I mean, you can sit. Maybe no, we can... no, I don't. I feel like if I sat with my grandmother, even though she's my grandmother, I, I would much rather talk with your mother than attempt to avoid eye contact from across the table. Oh, and that smiles. Just. <laughs> Is Binti causing problems again? You know that's all she does. I, you, even Ma, she, all, <clears throat> she, Mara keeps trying to talk to her, and she listened. I, even Mara, I listen, Mara. You've been doing a lot of work, and I appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. So much. Thank you. I thought about tagging in Jacaranda, but I, is my, she's. Crafty. I, I mean, besides, Jacaranda needs to enjoy all this before that is true. we leave. That is true. Uh, Jacaranda, you don't have to sit with us. I know you don't really eat. You're welcome to explore some more. Um, I might. I might do that. And then I'm going to pass you a note that says, tell me the things I need for you to make a drum. <laughs> it's the most not subtle people you hand me a piece of paper I'm I just open. gonna drop it I'm just gonna set it right in front of you and like I'm not even really hiding it <laughs> oh okay yes I will get to write on that I say out loud <laughs> um, okay. will smile and laugh for all of this going on <laughs> Uh, and Mara would turn to Nenek and say, we, we may be leaving today. Um, I will try to bring the wand back when we can, if the veil will allow it, if it's willing. But I appreciate everything that you've done for us while we're here. And I will keep your granddaughter safe. Oh, <clears throat> you'll come back when you need to come back. It's fine. That's how this place works. And um, I taught her a lot of what she knows. She'll be keeping you safe. But well, this I... is true because she's the best cleric ever. But <laughs> <laughs> check her in and know. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> <Mara's> just like, <laughs> every time. Dewan is the best cleric ever. Jack Ren is the best defensive cleric. <laughs> Not used um, to having to heal people. The sun does that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Jack Aranda is the best exorcist ever. <laughs> Jack Randa has the best vibe checks. True. You are a fantastic vibe checker. <laughs> but 
but really, it's it will be fine. But I'm I'm glad to have had the time that we had, and I am thrilled with the prospect of actually getting to see you again. It's been a while, and make sure to say hello to your parents for me if you run into them at some point. You're also invited for winter feast. <clears throat> I am. Nolly's parents are coming. <laughs> they are? They are? Yes. Yes. We will show up if and when we're meant to, I suppose. All of you are wonderful. It has been a pleasure to meet you all. Confirms that first of all, confirms that you, my darling, have a fantastic judge of character, points to one, to one, and secondly, that you are all wonderful individuals that I would love to have a little bit more time with when you have to save people less. When we have vacation, um, that one's going to give her grandmother a very big hug and also, just was right. I left a bunch of stuff. I think maybe I think I got all my stuff. I don't know if there's some sort of veil, postal service, uh, but if it seems important. Uh. <clears throat> I think you got everything. Okay. You are incredibly thorough and incredibly worried about being forgetful, but you are incredibly. A little, a little also, I pre-packed a bunch of things in your bag. Thank you. I was just, a little... Just to make sure. I was a little frazzled this morning. Looks towards Nawi, and then A just goes, Oh, I know. Then looks back towards you. I hope you have a lovely time. Oh, and, um... If, uh... If, if if Binti does Binti things, um, just just mention that I have another task for. Oh, okay. Okay. It... You're looking at me confused. I'm one of yeah. the best healers in the Vale, and so is she. We, we work together quite a lot. Oh, that makes sense. I don't really... Th you don't think about what your parent does, you know? You, they, like, leave, and then they come back, and then they leave, and they come they're, back. They're mom, they're mom and dad. Yeah, they, yeah. they don't know. Shara so, steps up to Nene. Can I have a hug? No. Oh, and she has to be on come brand. On, Nene. Was, <laughs> I love this. I love this about Mara so much. Throws her, uh, throws her arms around you. And uh, considering that she is... An incredibly old individual. She still has got like a fair amount of upper body strength. She wraps her arms around you like it's a good hug. It's a tight hug. And Mara leans into it because she has not gotten any hugs since we've been here. <laughs> it's a grand. I'm under my hug. quota. No, I guess I sit down. Just... That one falls. Did Did you want to to treat? Did you I to... I don't. Um, I can do. I can do hugs. Um, if you want. I, I'm just not familiar. Too familiar with the the protocol. I I only really have met Thistle and they're all. As you as she's talking, Jack <laughs> just slowly like close her eyes. <laughs> all right. Good. 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 You're also <laughs> absolutely wonderful, and I didn't want you being left out. Oh, uh, thank you. I um. I just don't really eat, so I. A brunch is interesting. Like a branch. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Like a branch? Like a branch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really eat, so brunch is like a branch. <laughs> <laughs> One leather. <laughs> I don't know who said that, but I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll not to even just, I understand that could be a little strange, yes, perhaps. But just know that despite not eating, you are just as welcome as everyone else. Thank 
Thank you. I probably will leave, though. I don't blame you. I mean, eating's kind of weird. I know that you do it. I don't mean to say that you're weird. I just... Oh, I'm weird. Eating. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm definitely weird. But Me that's too. I just, some people get um, offended when you say that about them. Um, so, but... Um, thank you. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> Mars writing this down in her book of conversations with Jacaranda. <laughs> <laughs> halfway, to the, halfway to the table now, he sees that everyone else is held and then he looks at one. Should I have given your grandma a hug? Was that rude? I, I don't think it was rude. I don't think not giving her a hug or giving her a hug is rude if it's something you want to do. I didn't want to interrupt the goodbyes. I didn't, like, I see her all the time and you, you they just met and you... But now, oh, did Lu Lupa came by this morning, yes? Yes, Lupa came by. Um, Good. What's this about an engagement? What? <laughs> an engagement? Binti speaks <laughs> up, <laughs> looking towards you both. Oh, that's a little too soon. That's a, that's a lot too soon, but also, yes. If it yes. Is. Uh, the prior engagements that we need to return to once yes. we leave. What was that, Mara? The veil. I say to uh, my love that no <laughs> one's there yet. I was telling them about my engagement to my husband, who's no longer with us, but I, I was telling them the story of how we got engaged. Uh, let me go, let me tell you. And she <laughs> drags Binti away to tell her the story of Mara. I mean, I'm a little more. Oh, all right, I'm going this way now. <laughs> now he looks out a giant sigh. Okay, so we have to make a drum for Mara because I, she can't, that, that's a big one. She just, I can't expect her to just talk about that. That has to be heavy. Yes, Mara's doing so much for us and just we need can we make more than one drum i think we need to make more than one drum. Can, yes i can get animal skins for more than one drum. Also, maybe engage. maybe a drum set of some sort are you i i'm sorry i guess we did not speak do you have like another person person engagement like a no Lupa, I, that is okay with me Lupa, I just, Lupa said yes. something about an engagement when she handed me the box the box is in the back of holding uh, oh, she must have misunderstood. Yes, it was something my father gave my mother when he did his engagement. But this is for, I don't use, it's not, what is it? It doesn't matter. It's not for me. It's just for you, right? Yeah, unless you, well, I mean, yes. Yeah, yes. If it was for you, I would give you something different. Not that I'm getting you anything now, but it's like for your birthday, when your birthday is your birthday time. But that would just be like for a birthday. It was a normal thing to do. Yes, okay. Just a, just a, a gift between partners. Yes. New partners. Okay. Yes. yes, but not that is not what this. When it is that, I I will give it to you, not Lupa, unless you like to get things from Lupa. More, which is, would be fine, but this no. Yes. Good. Yes. Y no, yes. Okay. Yes. No, yes, from you. I can get you a plate. I will go make you a plate. <laughs> Would you like something to drink? I'll go get something to drink. <laughs> get get something goes different directions. <laughs> oh, a little bit of time passes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Jacaranda, you successfully gather what materials you wanted to gather. You can make your way back to uh to Dawan and uh now we here um Mara you've distracted for sufficiently long enough um Binti will return in tears because they're a very emotional individual <laughs> and just kind of they're like 
they come back, and everyone would see this, as, as you're stepping back, it turned from, like, you dragging Binti away to Binti, uh, like, crying, still having a conversation with you with, like, an arm around your waist and another, like, your your hand in their hand as they're just like, but but it's 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 all right. It's, it's, it's absolutely, I, I understand that, that, that kind of pain and loss is it's difficult but you know you 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 you're you're a lovely lovely looking individual and whatever makes you happy that's that's the most important part <clears throat> that's 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 this guy just <laughs> just <laughs> just barreling you with compliments as the party reaches back to the table and binti will let you go and just um <clears throat> Sorry, uh, that's just a, a very sad story. So I'm, I'm just going to go and grab a drink and um, <laughs> uh, clean up the makeup a little bit. So I'll, 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 I'll be back shortly. And kind of shuffles away, leaving just you all at the table. Mara, are, are you okay? I did not mean for you to have to talk about that. No, it, it, it's good to talk about things. Okay, I I'm fine. Appreci well, I appreciate you. Um, there is no in there is no in engagement. I would tell you. I would probably ask you for advice if I was doing. And not that I am. Looks not that I am planning that. But when I was, if I was, I would. Because Mara is very good at gifts and talking to people and giving things. It's okay. You 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 two look like you needed to talk. So. Yes, I, I, what I had is something my father gave my mother when he did his engagement, but that is not this. And it is very nice, but if I was going and, like, someone stop her is essentially where she's, she's like, stuck in a loop of stammering. Don will just put her hand on Nawi's hand. We figured it out. It's not an engagement, but it is an item for our quest. Right? Yes. 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 It's a very nice bow. A bow. Oh. Yeah, I don't want so, that. So, no, I would give you something else. Mara would help me. Mara knows what people like. I not that I don't know what you like, but Mara has known you longer, so oh, she may well, know things I don't. Do you know how I know what people like? I ask them. Remember we were going to plan Jacaranda's party and I asked everyone what sort of things they liked, what colors they like. Jacaranda, we still need to have still need to have your party. <laughs> Jack Jacaranda is going to she wanted to explore the garden some more. Food means nothing to her. Mm. The garden is also food for her technically. After we do our space heist, we should we should plan a party for Jackaron. You keep saying that it's very casually, and I'm not, I still have not fully encapsulated what that means. Like we're going to go on one of those those things that fly and make noise, but fa father. Yes. Yes. Over an ocean, but up high. Okay. But it's over an island. Coming up so on an island. So, what do we have to get while we are there? What are we stealing? Information. Oh. Okay, but there's not like a thing. Not that we're aware of. Not unless the information. Now, if we get there and the, like, there's something we need to liberate, then sure. But as far as we know, just information. Oh, okay. So we go and we get the information and then we leave. That's the plan. Well, that sounds easy. But it could change. There's only three steps. Heist. I mean, we I, also I like... don't want them to take more people, so we're trying to stop that, aren't we? Y yes, maybe. Maybe we, we need another planning session when we get back. It would be oh, good if they yes. did not take people. 
especially since our party dynamics have changed since then. Since we made the plan, we we don't have Orwin, and I don't know that he'll be back to help us. Hmm. That is true. Should we? Uh, but now we have Naui. So. Do we need to recruit more help? We think. Or... Well, we have Logan, who who used to be perhaps is now known as Logan. We have Logan, and we have a, a friend of Dewan's. Okay. Who is very good at the sneaking and and it should be very helpful. Oh, okay. Well, um, that is good. But I don't know. I I guess it depends on when we get back. On if we'll have time to recruit anyone else. Oh, that's that is true. I mean, we will get back when we need to, but it right. It was up to fate if we need to recruit people or not. When we left, there were three days before. But that is very short. We had to uh, meet the ship. But also, uh, someone's picking up a package from me <laughs> oh. before we go. And that's very important. Well, we will make sure not to miss that or try. But three right. days is probably not enough time to recruit someone unless something very convenient happens. Well, the queen is aware and she is getting hmm. us transportation. So oh, that's good. Maybe she also got us help. I don't know. How, how have things been with her? Um, she still doesn't give me hugs, but besides that, it's been good. Oh, well, but okay. So they sing. Don't we also have our Eidolons? Whatever, wherever, whoever they might be. I got strong Shakira vibes from that. <laughs> they can also be helpful, but you must be careful with them. Right. What do you mean? Well, they are not like normal familiars. Like, if your familiar gets hurt, you just bring it back and it's okay. Uh... Eidolons, uh, they, uh, they are part of you. So if they get hurt, do we get hurt? Some people do. Some people get hurt. Some people experience other things. Uh, some people can bring... I can bring Lupa back, but it takes some of me to bring her back when she gets hurt. This is good to know. But I, I do not know if it's like that for Lupa is a special case, you know, because the whole I died thing and then she died and, you know, share a soul. We weren't given a lot of information about Eidolons, so, oh. yeah. They are part of you. They are not, they, like, a familiar is part of you, but a familiar is part of you that you use magic for. And Eidolon, it, it, it uses... I guess you would say magic, but the magic is from you, kind of like uh, how sorcerers do magic. It's like a, it's like part of your soul. I made Lupa with mine when I found her and she was hurt, which is why we are y unique around here. Not everyone does that. So we need to find, we still need to find our Eidolons, but we'll find them when we need them. Yes. Wait, I, you... I, I thought we all found our Eidolons. When we didn't we have like timey wimey time? I thought... <laughs> the 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 item that you were given allows you to temporarily manifest one. Yeah. So okay. that can be it doesn't quite follow the same rules because this is basically like this is a gift from the veil itself to give you a very temporary connection to the creature that would be your your Eidolon okay. if you were to stay in the veil. Okay. Um, so when so we need them, we just summon them and a Pokemon pops out for a little while and then goes back and it's so, all and it's done. Yeah, so Nari, Nari is 100% correct. Mm -hmm. Like, they're a part of you. Um, and that creature is 
pretty much predetermined. Like, you can have a bunch of familiars, but only one creature will ever be your eidolon. That's that's all it's ever going to be. Um, but this this ability that you were given as a thanks for assisting Nami is a very temporary connection. It can be attached to a creature you already know, or it will summon, so to speak, your what your Eidolon would be. Okay. Alright. As this discussion is happening, um... Check around there. As you were spending some time gathering objects, wandering around the forest, etc. There's a few kind of collections and blotches of color that begin to show up as you're kind of wandering around. At first you think they're fireflies, but they're a little too, too luminous. They're very large uh, collections of very stark colors, bright reds, bright greens, bright yellows, etc. Seems to almost be just floating around you with no real rhyme or reason. Uh, looking at them a little closer, they don't really seem to be stemming from anything either. It looks almost just like a little orb of almost just energy, magic. It seems to be dancing around the area. For the first time since you've got here, the trees begin to turn into mumbles rather than chatter. Almost as if they're speaking in hushed tones and whispers. Slowly but surely, the conversation fades back. You still feel the presence of everything around you. But it's just very quiet all of a sudden. A little unnervingly so. Around. See if there's anything like different or if I can feel like anything watching me, I guess. Roll me a perception check. Uh, that's oh, 15 exactly. Okay. You don't notice any one specifically. You kind of take a look around you, take a look up across the treetops, take a look at the ground, make sure there's nothing kind of below you, and you don't seem to spot anything specific. colors continue to dance for a little bit <clears throat> before the shades manipulate and change. They turn into colder tones. Colder reds, blues, silvers almost. The wind begins to pick up around you. Just a little bit. You can see the the grass underneath you beginning to move as the wind blows. And the last thing you see before things return to normal is the slightest flash of a blue and a yellow light. And then a small outline of a symbol it's not quite together enough with that 15 for you to really get an idea of what symbol it's trying to show you before the colors fade and the trees begin to talk again and chatter between each other and everything seems to return back to normal slowly but surely hmm. Interesting. 
I'll try to sketch like just what I could kind of make out of the symbol in my notebook. Mm -hmm. Looks like with a 15, some kind of like small oval with like some kind of straight rectangular thing through it. You're not entirely 100% sure. Okay. Not with a 15, I'm afraid. But yeah, you still manage to wander and gather and meet a few more creatures, a few more trees, learn some extra stories on your travels as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's to the point where you all kind of make your way back to this table as these conversations begin to die down. And... a few moments before Binti steps back, looking a little more serious than before, looking between the four of you, takes a seat, kind of turns it around to face you, looks at the rest of the table, looks back to you all. So, um, <clears throat> I should probably ask, um, Are you planning on sticking around for much of the festivities? Um... We have to... Well, I know you, you'll just say... You'll get back when you need to, but... It is quite pressing and, and harder for... People not used to our ways to stay and feel assured <sighs> yes I know it was a little part of me that was still hoping but I I know I know I know I, I'm sure it would keep you will keep being great it has been great right everyone So much fun. Well, the food. Except is... for that rock thing. Yeah, everything's been fine. <laughs> rock thing? You, 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 you had an argument with a stone. Oh, no. rock thing. Not that rock. Nevin decided to test us. Um, and part of that test was Varian deciding to uh basically he made us fight him well that is something I have not heard happening in a very long time um that's new information alright um We try not to fight? Well, if you manage to get yourselves through that situation, it makes sense that you're still so welcome in the veil. Now he's cracking your knuckles. <clears throat> I mean, I can go fight him now. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? He looks at Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? Dawan <laughs> refuses to make eye contact with now yet. <laughs> I, I think I have a stop to make. No, it's fine. I, we have more pressing matters to deal with than a dumb bird. If you just say the word, sweetie, sweet, sweetie, I don't know. How does that one? Is that one okay? I I think there was like a real like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about sweetie. Okay, Darling. I'll keep trying. I like that one. Okay. That one is good. <laughs> right. Okay. Now we get some notebook. Sweetie, question mark. <laughs> I am thrilled that just happened in front of me. 
Um, all right, we need to have a discussion the next time you're back about that kind of thing. But anyway, um, <clears throat> yes, I... <laughs> now I leans into her mom and switches to Sylvan, but no, really, let that, but I, I, you know, like, when you get a time away from one of the parties, I would like that, but you know that I am displeased that they hurt my partner. They'll stop what they were saying, switch to Sylvan real quick. <laughs> Varian's intervention was certainly not something that I was expecting to hear, but I shall let the relevant individuals know. Okay. Thank you, Mommy. I love you. <laughs> and I love you, dear. Oh, uh, still in Sylvan, just, I call your father honey at my work. I don't know whether that's a little bit too far, but, you know, try it, see I'll, what sticks. I'll try that one later. I'll smile, look back. I'm sorry, that's awfully, <laughs> awfully rude. Sorry, we just had to uh, sort some sort some business out regarding the veil. Yes, <clears throat> pressing matters to attend to. I understand. It's... <clears throat> My husband used to do little excursions now and then uh, when when they needed to, of course. So I, I understand that sometimes there's important things that must be done for the sake of everyone. Just a little sad. We... Weren't getting a little bit more time, but as I've said before, I understand. It's it's your stories. So you've got to write them. Just look after each other. Of course. Of course. No one's getting hurt on my watch except for myself. Apparently. Well, then you won't get hurt on my watch, so then no one will get hurt. Okay. A partnership. Oh, and um. I've still got a little bit of, uh, oh, what was it I called it the other day? Fay fuckery. That's the one. I still have a little bit of that about me. So if you do hurt her, then I will absolutely make sure to lock you in a mind palace and mentally flay you alive. No, he's like, Zoom gets into camera view. Mom. <laughs> no, that one, like holds out her hand and is like, now this <laughs> this is a mother-in-law can handle. Uh, I wouldn't have it Same. any other way. That goes for any of you, by the way. I feel like that's like a right when Jacarana comes back. <laughs> Jacarana walks in. Threatened. <laughs> by Nolly's mom. <laughs> Walks in, just turns around. Nope. The conversation has been lovely the entire and time, but back. the one time it gets serious, <laughs> Jack around is like, hang on, what did I? Just like spin oh. it back out of the room. <laughs> that includes you too. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, that's that's all I really needed to say. Um I can feel that your your time here is running low. So I just wanted to make sure I had said what I needed to say and that I'm <clears throat> going to miss you. Well, I will of course miss you too. It's like I said, for you, it, went, it may not be long. I'll get back when I need to. It'll, it'll probably be when the parties are all done. I, not that I'm avoiding them. <laughs> and Mara goes, she's totally avoiding them. <laughs> Looks at, zooms into Mara's camera. Mara. <laughs> Mara. <laughs> Mara. <laughs> it feels kind of sniffle a little, putting on a, a brave smile and throw her arms around her, knowing. Hug her back. Well, I believe we were planning to leave after the brunch was concluded, so 
I had Lupa go get my few things. I had her grab a few dresses from your room. I hope that is okay. They just nod a little straightly. She, she likes the dresses. Well, I you. Miss you. Uh, Present yes. and say it's there. <laughs> Pleasant and safe travels. There we go. That's what I tried to say. <laughs> I'm sure they will be lovely. I'll stand up. Kind of brush down the still very nice looking, but definitely more kind of more of a laid back dress. More of a kind of like pastel green and white number. I'll stand up, kind of brush that off, straighten up a little bit, just on towards you all. <clears throat> Carl, it's stand up. You, you, you didn't think you were getting away, did you? <laughs> she comes in for a hug. <laughs> Pinty throws a look towards Nami. Is this, is, she... this is how we all feel. Is, this, <laughs> is she always... She's always like this. Uh, I want you to remember that exact thing. You feel that's how we, that is how we, oh, yes. Now hug my friend. <laughs> I, suppose I, say we're already, <laughs> I suppose we're already halfway there earlier. <clears throat> Throws our arms around you. A little, uh, a little more hesitantly than when she hugged Nawi, but she does hug you. You got your hug. I got my hug. Polly also no, had guilt. <laughs> no, where's dad? Hiding. <laughs> hiding from you. He is. They will step away. As brunch continues. The floor is yours. It's up to you uh, what you want to do and when you want to leave. Mara uh, would get her pack from the wand. Yeah, and you can say you gathered all your stuff. Make her way and go and change into her armor. Yeah, now because would she doesn't know where the veil's gonna stick them. <laughs> <laughs> now I would get changed. Now I definitely came to brunch in like a crop t-shirt and like short shorts because it's her it's her party. So yeah, dress casual. Yeah. Definitely rolled up like she didn't have a hangover, but rolled up as if she had a hangover and like short shorts and a crop tee <laughs> with her hair in a ponytail. Fat. But she'll she'll go like get dressed. Uh yeah, I think she would just go get dressed and look for Jacaranda. Um, she, Jack Ryan is just waiting outside, um, for everybody to kind of finish being threatened. <laughs> um, did you find things? I, I did. Do you want me to give them to you now, or should I hold on to them until we are in, like, we're sleeping outside and, and... Yeah, we should wait until then, because she, Mara Ma will find some more insight to sleep, and then yes, we can start putting exactly. things together. And then, once you make the drum, I'll decorate it. Yes, perfect. That is a good idea. Did you have a good time? Uh, like, at brunch? In general, being because we are leaving. Oh, I have yes, I had a good time. I didn't really go, I didn't really stay at the brunch, so I did not have a good time there. But I did have a good time in general being cool. here it's very nice i like to be outside here and i feel better than i usually do when i'm not here that is i wanted to uh give you something and now it like reaches behind her ear and has a little like white pansy and braids it into uh one of your branches no. you can I know you don't live here, live here yet. Maybe one day you want to. Um, we don't really have time for you to invest to stay 
for long enough to have a door like I do, but this can help you come back later if you want to. Thank you so much. And then so you much. can make up your mind then. Yes, of course. I, I do. I, I like to be here, and I do think it might be a good place for me to come back to and maybe stay for longer term. So that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Yes, I... I I'm trying to get everyone something, and I got you something, and we're going to make Mara something, but when I think about getting to want something, my hands get sweaty, and I am sure that doesn't mean much to you. You already but gave that one a gift, though. I, I did? The, the lovely oh, bed the pe that you made. Oh, yes. Well, that, okay. But I didn't know if it counted because it was before... We were, and it was before I left, and I'm trying to get people stuff oh. after I come back. But I don't well, know. Well, she it's... liked the bed. That's so, good. Um, <laughs> do I make another bed? Maybe a pillow to go with the bed. A blanket? A blanket, yes. Because it gets cold. It gets cold. I do. And it's comfortable. It goes together. Yes. Kind I'm like... sorry. I don't know. No, it's more. okay. Jack no, and now we have the best conversations. <laughs> I know, but also like cut to like five years from now, and you walk into Dawan's tent, and it's just knits, <laughs> like like everything, <laughs> blankets and pillows. I could never tell her I had enough knitted stuff. I felt bad. Yeah. What did Ali get you for your anniversary? She made me a blanket. Again, yeah, I, I don't know how to tell her. I don't, know <laughs> I don't want to hurt. I have seventeen scarves. <laughs> I don't even sell. I can't even think of seventeen days that we celebrated, but I have seventeen of them. <laughs> it makes you a knit bag to replace your other medicine bag. <laughs> You've just got a haberdashery. A whole, just a whole <laughs> knit outfit. You walk into my tent as just a freaking Hobby Lobby. <laughs> uh, it pose until it's time to leave. It pose. <laughs> I'm just doing. We're just outside, like... <laughs> I mean, I feel like... I kind of love the idea of just the two of you standing there on sound. <laughs> just... <laughs> You're doing Warrior One. It's fine. Um, as I say, right, I think me. this is when Dawan walks up. She's just been saying goodbyes to Nene. Which we've already done, but, like... Just like a final, okay, this is time. Like, again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's her grandmother. Got okay. Got to multiple times. All right. <clears throat> the party gathered. Last minute preparations finished off. Goodbye said. Party member regained into the fray. Whoop, whoop. You venture... As you know you should do with the veil, you venture out into the forest. You wander, you wander, you wander, taking in the sights for the last time, at least for now, before you feel that urge, now familiar to you. Now it's like, that's the tree I fell off of, that's the tree I fell off of, that's a different tree I fell off of, that's, <laughs> where, I found, that's where they found my body, that's the tree I fell off of. <laughs> That's the tree that fell off of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's grown now. <laughs> that urge overcomes you, <clears throat> and you do indeed blink. Opening your eyes, you find, first of all, you kind of blink a little bit and shake your head and adjust to the very different light that is in this room. You are indeed in a room, quite large, uh, the, there's a couple of, uh, windows off to the side that are open, curtains open, uh, opened up at the bottom as well, so that there's a breath of air coming through. You hear the tweeting of birds and the scuffling of other creatures around. You're immediately hit with an incredibly sweet scent in the air taking a moment to kind of gather your surroundings, you see a beautiful, ornate uh, 
writing table, along with a very nice chair that's very clearly been well used. A wall just covered in books and bookcases, a small uh, armoire and a chest off to the side. A very, very large four-poster bed and sat in the chair, looking at the mirror, like halfway through brushing their hair. They pause for a moment. They turn around. They're in this kind of like casual wear, uh, like not quite like shorts and a t-shirt, but kind of close. I'm pulling down, I'll just stop. They turn, look at you, just, um, you're in my bedroom. The veil told us to come here. You look great. I know we don't usually see you dressed down. I not to not that I'm it looks adorable. not that I'm like looking. I just You do look good. Oh. Like as this conversation's happening, you just hear <laughs> like slowly sliding the brush through the rest of the hair. I, I do not know why you sent us here. This is different. Usually it's another tree, so uh, were you worried about some? Is someone here to assassinate you? Or? I think we've already played that game of cat and map. I feel like this is a practical joke, and I didn't even know that the Veil could play practical jokes, but I'm feeling like I'm being pranked right now, so that's just the explanation I'm going to go with. Hi, welcome back. Hey, would you like a, a robe or something? You are very undressed. I... I don't think it's going to make a difference at this point. I'm just okay. going to... twist herself around, just... Okay, you're back. You look different. Yes. There's, there's some, <laughs> some changes yeah. to the... Yeah. Should I be concerned? No. Were you able to get our transportation? I don't know how long it's been since we left. How so... long has it been since we've left? I feel like it's the first question <sighs> we should ask. It has been a few days at this point. You're... Oh no. A bit early. You're a bit early. Unexpectedly so. But, um... Oh, uh, there's also, <clears throat> once we're done with this little conversation, uh, Mara, there's someone waiting for you in uh, uh, one, of, one of the next rooms. Someone that you, you sent for or something, I don't remember. Um, yes, so you've returned. Things are organized, transport is sorted. We have as many people pooled as possible to defend the territories while we're getting all of this sorted. Um, we've sent word to the individuals living on the island, and they will bunker down as much as they are able, but we can't have them too bunkered, or it'll be very obvious that they've been warned. <clears throat> I abhor using people as bait, but unfortunately right now I don't have a whole lot of choice. <clears throat> It'll be yourselves, anyone you want to bring with you, myself and Sinclair accompanying you. You will be going? I think this is a matter that demands my more direct attention. Now he switches to Draconic. If it demands your direct attention, shouldn't everyone involved understand who you are? Secrets among allies is difficult. And Mara says, who is she? <laughs> She's a queen. I was, Mara speaks Draconic. I was going to say, that one also. <laughs> I feel like we used Draconic before. Did they use Sylvan before? We used Sylvan before. 
for oh. because Dawn also Woman. knows draconic. There we go, darling. What are you talking it's, about? It's it's Sylvan with a draconic twang. Like yeah. Jacaranda knows Sylvan, but she won't. She doesn't care really. She doesn't get it. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, all you hear the queen say in Sylvan is just that will come later. I think now he's a little feisty and she's like Barra writes something down in her book <laughs> and out a page and goes I'm gonna need you to sign this and it says Mara Katani is not responsible if I get hurt or killed <laughs> <laughs> you're making the queen sign a waiver <laughs> yes. I mean the liability release <laughs> She is a grown ass elf and can make her own decisions. <laughs> they will stare at the paper. And you don't get the queen giggle. You get a full on burst of laughter from this from this individual. Uh, a very musical kind of laugh that comes out of them as they pick up a, a, a quill from over on the table. Just get up, wander over, pick up a quill, just... If it's going to make you feel better, then I will it, sign it will your paper. It will make me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> that is fine. Just goes ahead and... He's like, I am out. responsible for enough folks. I don't need to be responsible for her. <laughs> My mother did threaten them a lot, which I am sorry about. <laughs> there was fey fuckery threatened, so yes. Please <laughs> sign here. <laughs> she, is, she is quite harmless. Something about locking in a mine palace and being flayed. I just left. I don't. <laughs> she is. She is the to talk. She is really a sweet lady. She is. Besides, we don't keep the best of company. So yes, please. <laughs> Looking at Logan. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Logan exactly. In the corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you mean not the best? <laughs> <laughs> They'll sign and just chuckle and just. I can more than take care of myself, don't you worry. Uh, so which room is my uh, guest in? Um, head down the corridor and uh, uh, just take your first left. They said something about a tree and a package? I'm, I'm not yep, entirely yep. 100%. Oh, yep. uh, yep. uh, uh, would you like some company, Mara? I, yes. Uh, let me yes. You. Tawan, you need to come with me. <laughs> uh, 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 you, you two stay here. We will be right back. Well, now I it mean... makes a lot of eyes at the mention of tree and package. <laughs> that was just like... It's... I mean, <clears throat> in the politest way possible, if you could stay here, but... Um, this is my bedroom. I need to get dressed. <laughs> I I need to. We can wait in the hallway. That would be splendid. Um, um is this PJ? It's like pajama. What are you? I thought you were dressed. What's going? What? <laughs> Jack around like grabbing the clothes. He's <laughs> like, like, what is this kind of clothing? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were. It looks very nice. It's shiny. This is. Relaxed wear. I wasn't exactly expecting. queen and her her silk nighties. Visitors. <laughs> I wasn't exactly expecting visitors. Um, I appreciate the. Compliment. It looks like something you wear for a visitor. This is very nice. You just wear this. I would wear that for a visitor. Was that something you had made or? As now always taking notes. Where can I pick yeah. this up? <laughs> You continue, like, you step out, you head down the corridor and open up one of the left-hand doors. Uh, it's like a, just a small, like, holding room in general. It's it's nothing really particularly fancy. Just, like, a place to entertain a guest when you're moving them from what, like, when, when, when the room they're meant to be going to is getting prepared. Um, there is just this little kind of, like, globe set, a few different uh, shelves and things like that. There's a little spread of... Uh, fruit and uh snacks that haven't really been touched by globe set do you mean like snow globes or like world globes uh, just a big big like world globe okay. on the ground yeah not snow globes <laughs> not snow it's globe set i'm like hmm okay collecting snow globes. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, and then in the center of the room, there's a couple of, like, lounge chairs and such. And sitting in one of the kind of just wooden chairs that's kind of tacked onto the, uh, onto the end, as you step inside, they look at you with these big beady eyes. The head tilts. They scratch a little bit of their black feathers around their face. Then twitch the other way. Just big stretches. They extend these two black wing, like, wing-like hands, I guess you could say. And then jump down. Readjust this little, like, leather harness that they have onto them. And then uh, step forward. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, we weren't here when you I arrived. I loved them. That's okay. You're called for a blackbird. Uh, uh, yes. Upon the the box and, and things. <laughs> I'm sorry. Better it be bird at your service. I'm going to need you to repeat yourself one more time. Very witch, be bird at your service. Wonderful to meet you, Barry Witch. I was not expecting. Mm, I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting a much small messenger blackbird of. Uh, well, not that you're not a. I. Dawn's just going to open up the bag uh, box. Kit. You're very bad at this. But I appreciate it anyway. Thank you. And. Hold. Like is holding the bag of holding and just looking at Martin. That right? This is who. Am I? It's just the box. It's right. Yeah, because we got rid of the bag. We sent the bag to Aridin with the swords. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. Because it was eating. It was eating. The yes. Bag. This should just be a just a box. iron box that's locked. Yep. <laughs> Fine. Is this the package? Yes. Wonderful. And, um, what am I do? What, what, where am I? What, You're what's the job? You're taking it to the guardian and he's going to protect it. <laughs> right. He'll hold him. Certainly. He'll take the box from you, pack it in the little satchel, and pull out this little, like, Irish farmer's cap and just kind of place it on their head wiggle into it a little bit tuck a few pieces of like feather back <clears throat> alright anything else? any message I should know about? pulls out like whips just from nowhere this little notepad flicks it open if he doesn't hear from us in one month's time then he should contact Queen Elowen. <clears throat> Begins scratching. Um, <laughs> Dewan, Mara, what's your passive perception? 20. 20. 13. Okay. 13. Okay. Uh, you can both see, like, he's not angling the notepad. He's, at, he's writing gobbledygook. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. It's just utter nonsense. Is it's it not a language. chicken scratch? It's not, it's just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Just lines and like random dots and things. Just <clears throat> closes it, flips it back. Just, all right. Oh, and, um, we doing payment up front or is he paying? I was just about to ask if you required postage or a tip. Okay. Well, you know, then. Would give him two gold pieces. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we're asking him to tell to transport something important, so you know, anything worth his services. He takes the two gold pieces, looks at them for a moment, like uses his beak to try and bend them both, and when they don't, he picks them both up. And then just kind of slots them into like the nostrils of his beak and just <clears throat> all right thank you and we'll just 
push past you and wander off. No, that was that. Mara's gonna send a message to the Guardian. Uh, <laughs> that one's having an existential crisis. The package has just been picked up. Uh, hopefully it arrives. <laughs> Here's the tracking number. I don't know if you're gonna get it, but here's the, I got insurance on the package. Here's the tracking number. As, hang on, I need to roll something. What do you mean he shoved it okay. in his nostrils? So, so as he's as he's done this and begun kind of like waddling away, you watch as he suddenly just goes, Mah! and shrinks down. Her morphs into a tiny crow, launches himself forwards, and crashes into a closed window and just drops to the ground. Legs up, wings out. <laughs> like, just... Oh my should, God. should we not send it? Should... Scary witch. Dewan, I, I, I think we're gonna regret back. this. Don't... <laughs> 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 I was gonna run over to the bird. I don't know. <laughs> and and Mara's gonna be like, you, you know what? No, no, that's fine. Uh, we've changed our mind. We, we don't need it delivered. And she's sending a message to the guardian. <laughs> Never mind. It's not coming. It's not gonna make it. <laughs> like, rub, like, rubs his beak, gets up, and just with the bag throws it into the window and smashes it into pieces and just <clears throat> nope, you paid for it and then morphs back into a crow and leaves, just oh, just no. immediately takes off and flies through the broken pane of glass I can't stress enough being in a hallway, we definitely hear like glass breaking and stuff and now he just thinks back to how she was told to stay and she is a good girl and so she just is in the hallway like that sends. Do uh, you think they are okay to Jack or Anna? Um. Well, there aren't screams, so either they're okay or they're really not. There's a lot of crushing. <laughs> Let's. We'll we'll wait like forty five seconds. Yes. Uh, I'm like edging that way still though. <laughs> like. And Mara's just muttering. This is all Orwind. Orin's fault. It is all his fault. <laughs> and he's not here to fix it. And we're gonna be uh, and the whole world's gonna explode. She's just she's done. She just leaves. <laughs> she's just gonna go find perhaps. She's just had it. <laughs> Mara has reached her tipping point. <laughs> I think Dawn's just staring like <laughs> like like fully in front of this shattered window, like But the coins and then she's going to cast mending and fix the window and then leave the room and still is just like up the nose where did they go that's not no. my Mara, oh, Mara is going that way a uh, nose you... oh uh the, I... there, there's lots of glass noises you know, I'm not going to say it's fine because I'm not entirely sure I'm fine. Do you, do you, I, I have some healing. I can go no, fight some. I'm not hurt. Not physically, oh. mentally, conceptually, perhaps a little bit. Um, I need to learn more about crows and Close. just. <laughs> I, I know a lot about I know a lot about but I like birds. You know, darling, I think I, no matter what you know, it was not what we just experienced. But the package is on its way. I think package. maybe. The package? Package. Pa you know, the package that we Oh, it's I'll uh, I'll tell the when we're not in a hallway. Jack Arando wanted to. We we decided to wait. Jack Arando is still creeping. Jack Arando is still creeping in the hallway. I I don't think they saw you come out the room. 
<laughs> side. You've like Jedi, pseudo, you've creeped. Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> <laughs> creeped your way around to look at the like happened. on the wall, like crawling, like <laughs> wall climbing, like <laughs> You essentially see like this very tiny impact crater in the ground <laughs> from where this crow just got yumchered and then <laughs> the like the slightly mended but still definitely broken glass like huge glass yeah. window with just glass scattered on the floor <laughs> um what kind of glass is it is it like stained glass or is it just like plain uh, not coloured, no. Um, just a just a thick, kind of a, uh, definitely thicker, used as like more insulation. This one's not very decorative. This one's more functional in form. I'll still take some of the glass. <laughs> okay, sure thing. You can grab the uh, grab the scattered scattered just like remains. Like a few pieces of glass. Like, okay, I'll take these with me. <laughs> You collect the scattered remains of this I window. Love this group. <laughs> I absolutely love this group. It's probably about then that the door opens in front of you, Nami Dewan, and uh, Princess, or Queen, I should say, uh, Eloin, who. I think she was demoted while we were gone. <laughs> what happened? What happened? She was a revolt. <laughs> She was a princess in one of my other campaigns. It's been years now. She's a queen. <laughs> uh, queen Elwyn will step out in a definitely still kind of like relaxed outfit, but more kind of indicative of her her stature. Um, step out and look towards you all. Just did I just hear a window break? Yeah. No. So check her no. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There, a window broke. No, it didn't. So weird. It's fine. I was not there. I cannot speak to the truth of a window breaking or not. That I don't was the, know. Was that you? No. And, and any of any of your? No. When I got here, the window was already broken. I still cannot confirm more than I the truth of a window being broken or not. I was not there. I don't think our guest was accurately uh, or described to us. Oh, he was awfully um, eccentric. We'll say eccentric. Bird-brained, mm -hmm. almost. Moving swiftly on from my broken window, do we need to leave tonight or what i don't know what day it is i don't know what day it is when i was here to be real i never really understood how you told time here you're a little early but everything's ready to go if you wanted to leave now and get things out of the way then we are in a position to oh. i have transportation set up to get us close enough and more transportation to get us to this thing when it does eventually show itself I mean, I was gone for a while. I, I I would like to get back in the fields, but I don't know if everyone else wants one more night or. We think maybe just one one more one more night would be good. We can leave in the morning. We can, if you would so wish. We can show you uh, the fort. Oh yes, we have a house. Yes, it's a bit more than that. A little more than a, than a house, perhaps. Um, <clears throat> that reminds me, actually. Um, more presents? Not quite presents. More of a get the presents. question, I suppose. Um, questions would be presents. I suppose, under certain contexts. Do you have anything to help you get around that's not your 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 land creatures now, now he starts to point at Lupa at the end of the hallway and then puts her hand down <laughs> turns into a 
It's going to take a significant amount of time, but if you would like, I could get some of my court mages to install something that might get you around a little faster. Like a catapult? I'm thinking more magical in nature now. A magical That's... catapult? Yes, magical catapult. I... Sure. A cannon. A magical cannon. Let's just keep. Ah, uh, Mara is not here for this conversation. One. <laughs> <She's gone. laughs> I was going to ask whether you wanted a short range teleportation circle so that you could get from Scythia and back with a bit more ease than the travel in between. Yeah. Oh, like what my parents have. Your parents have a transportation sigil? Yeah, this is just for inside the veil. It's very big. You only saw like I one one hundredth of it, I think. We only saw but, what it wanted to show us, right? Yeah, Isn't that how it works. Yes, it is where most of the people live, but there's like a lot. I saw like a never-ending chasm. Like it just kept going down. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, I lost a doll in that chasm. It was a good doll. We would, I have we would like been that. there once. And that is quite enough. Certainly. All right. I will inform my court majors to make their way, and we'll get something set up. Uh, only short range from Scythia and back for now, but improvements could be made with significant time. And <clears throat> you are certainly not beholden to me or the city of Scythia or Ansire in general, but... Um, You've helped us out a lot, and I would like to continue that uh, arrangement. As much as you are willing, at the very least. I, I stare for a second, and I think it finally downs on... No, he has like... this conversation when Mara's not there, sneaky witch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait. I am not done retainer to you anymore. You came am, on behalf of the veil. Yes, the first time, but I am just here to be here. I Send don't me. think I've done that before. Hmm. She blank stares after that. She she her brain is <laughs> blue screening. <laughs> I can get that sorted for you. For now, um, meet me early morning. The airship will be ready to take us. Space heist. Okay. Space heist. <laughs> Safe travels to you. And they will retreat back into their room for a short while. Mara, as you stepped away, um, where are you heading? Uh, I'm going to find a guard and find out if Logan and Odian are hanging around or if they headed back to Stonehaven. Okay. Uh, you would find out that uh, Odion and <clears throat> Logan are currently in the coffee shop that you had spent some time in. Oh, great. She heads there, she tells Shikari to stay here and tell the others where she went. All right. Not too long of a travel, but still a little bit of a ways. You arrive. Uh, she's just muttering to herself the whole time. She's like, <laughs> I had it with people. <laughs> Save the world, they said. <laughs> Make friends, they said. You arrive to see the store relatively empty, but you see Logan and Odian seated at the very back. Um, there's a very kind of Magneto Xavier vibe going on here, as they seem to be playing some kind of board game in front of them. Not really speaking, but there's the occasional kind of like look of their eyes. It seems like they might be having a conversation in their head as uh, they'll stare themselves down and then move something, and stare down a little longer, and then move something. <clears throat> you see 
a good few empty cups of tea on the uh, on on the on the table there. Um, if you if you do approach, uh, they'll kind of notice you, flick their heads around. No odium will just. Oh, so you've come back safe and sound. That's good to know. No thanks to the veil. Okay, listen. So we've had a change in plans. Apparently, Oren got called away to do something for his family. Now he's back, so that's good. But we'll probably have to reconfigure our 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 plans. Oh, and apparently the queen's coming with us. You seem agitated. Are you all right? I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I could do with a cup of that tea. <laughs> Odeon nods, begins pouring out a small cup as Logan will turn towards you and just... Right, so if I've got this right, you're saying that the Queen is coming with you? That the veil messed you... Whatever, whatever this veil thing is messed you around, but everything is still relatively on board, but you're like, you're, you're down. You're down a man, basically. Uh, no, we're equal. I mean, we don't have Orin, but we have the queen. I mean, she's pretty powerful. I did have her sign a waiver, so if she dies, we're not responsible. Sure, when uh, proposed with this kind of situation, the first thing you think about is the galleys. Well, yes, because I, I, I assume she has an heir. I have no idea who it is. But, um, so how you been? <laughs> I've been learning about now. how things work in this plane. Um, I'm being told that this is a, a relaxing activity to do. It's certainly an activity. Did you have any other ideas about what we have to do. I would assume finding out what the hell's going on is kind of the, the reason behind, well, whatever reason is behind everything. It's right. Kind of whatever we can, whatever we can grab, really, whatever we can find out. Is there also a way we can maybe, if we need to, disable the ship while we're there? Possibly. Could be people on it though. Right. Okay, so let's go over this. There's no one else around, right? It was just those two that were. It's relatively empty. No one's really paying attention. Okay. So I take their game pieces. <laughs> okay, so where should the. The I have place a you need to get to going to be on the ship. <clears throat> I don't know. It depends which one shows up. They're all the same. They're different. So once it appears and we get a good look at it, I can tell you. Do any of your people fly? Most of them, yeah. Well, not like fly, fly, more like over. They have an advantage over us there. Can you hover? I know you're not in your normal form. I can make things work to a, to a degree. I'm not yeah, used. falling sucks. Let me tell you. <laughs> the spaces inside are relatively small, so you won't have to deal with anything too ridiculous in there. That's all I can really tell you, other than we like to use brain things, so... Uh, if you've got anything to protect yourself against that, then good. And um, 
If you see anything small, kill it. Don't trust any insects, you see. That's all I'm saying. Got it. All right. Well, I, I assume the others will be here shortly. She just go <laughs> sip some tea. All right, I'm getting prepared to go then. I'll finish this game first and then uh, attempt to get some sleep, I suppose. Sleep may be good. All right. <clears throat> good day to you then. We'll see you in the morning. Looks towards Odeon who nods and just says, um, you can keep, keep the tea. Turn back to the game. As this conversation begins to wrap and everyone begins to collect themselves, both to uh, return to your home, show Nawi around, and get ready for this confrontation. That's what we'll go ahead and wrap uh, the session today. We shall return next week with the start of the heist, probably. This heist. All right, cool. Quickly go around the horn just to give uh, everyone a chance to plug what they would like to plug real quick. Um, let's start off with Austin. Hey, I knew it was me. I was unmuted and everything. I was ready for Ray this time. My name's Austin, my pronouns are he, they, she. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Sailor at Sailor SCT. Austin, I am a professional game designer, writer, player, lover. How do you professionally love games? I don't know, but I found a way to do it, so get on my level. Uh, you can find me here on Monday. You can find me Wednesday on my podcast, Secret History of Nerd Mysteries. You can find me Saturday over on Transplanar RPG's Twitch channel. And I have a Kickstarter coming soon to Deimos Academy. If you haven't already, go pre-follow the campaign. I tweet the link, like, once a day. You can find it. Just go to my page and search Deimos Academy. Uh, that's, 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 it's, it's, that's this for me. It's the big thing. That's coming in March, so. Sweet. Uh, Jesse. It's me. I was not expecting it. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm Jehus the Moose on the interwebs. I do art things like the backgrounds and this overlay and other overlay, oh, overlays, overlays, <laughs> and also like other art things. Check out my Twitter or Instagram to see them if I post things. I'll get better at it. I promise. That's all I'm doing this month for now check back in for the next couple of months. They've got some stuff in the works. Rochelle. Hi, I'm Rochelle, Dragon Gem here on Twitch, the Dragon Gem on Twitter. Uh, you can catch me on my own channel on Sundays and Wednesdays. I play lots of puzzle games. Uh, on Wednesdays right now I'm playing God of War because I've never played it before and it's pretty fun. Even though the first time I died 51 times. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, at the end of the month I am taking uh, part in a charity stream where it's 44 streamers who are playing through Legend of Grimrock 1 and 2. Uh, we each are going to play for an hour and pass on our save file to the next stream and it's going to be a 48 hour stream um so you should come and support that uh it is to benefit save uh which is the suicide awareness voices of education uh charity so that'll be tons of fun um and yeah that's it have a good day i'm melissa hello i am melissa also known as so much geek sew I post things on Twitter and Instagram sometimes when I make things. And um, I also have a store on Threadless, hopefully another store that's coming that's not on Threadless, if I can figure out how to make that happen fully. So keep an eye out for that because I have some art pieces that I would like to sell but would like 
a little bigger of a cut on for the hard work that I put into it. So I will be releasing those things once I get my own store like up and running. So Amazing. Yeah, looking forward to it. Fantastic. As always, <clears throat> thank you to everyone here. Please support all of their projects and everything they do. Uh, hi, I'm Ray. You can find me at Red Mage Ray on Twitter. I do this. Uh, <clears throat> GMing, mostly. Uh, both the Mind and the Martyr. And we just wrapped our Stygian Shroud campaign over on Polish Cricket's channel. Um, you can also find me here for the next three Fridays where we are playing Hades or a Hades inspired Blades of the Dark campaign, which started as Blades of the Dark and has now just turned into Hades Dating Simulator. And I'm absolutely I fine. I don't know it. what you thought would happen. I, I <laughs> do not apologize even for one it's, second. No, no, no. It's I don't a Hades apologies. inspired game. Like, of course it's going to turn into a dating sim. I expected the flirtations. I did not expect the straight horny. <laughs> just... I don't know what you. I am. You have zero sorry for you. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. Uh. So that's me at the moment. Um. I have a game coming up very soon that I'm not entirely sure I can announce yet. So I'm not going to. But I'm going to be working with one of my favorite creators in the TTRPG space, the Neon Caster. Um. So that's going to be super fun. Uh. I'm super hyped for that. And. I will eventually release things. I've got a bunch of drafts that are like part written that I need to go ahead and put out on uh, Kofi. So I uh, expect those in the coming week, probably. Um, yeah, that's me real quick. Uh, just before we wrap up here, uh, channel kind of programming, because we have four shows on at the moment. Um, Mondays, you've got us, the Mind of the Martyr. Wednesdays, you have the fantastic uh, crew that are playing Urban Shadows with uh, Eli Elliott uh, GMing. That show is fantastic. You should definitely check them out. We have Fridays with Hades, and then we have Sundays still with the Souls Confidant, which is our Invisible Sun campaign. So, yeah come uh swing by check us out and all of the vods will be on the channel and on youtube so go ahead and check those out too big thank you to our affiliates and our sponsors and roll 20. we're gonna go ahead and get some sleep because i think all of us probably need it um take care rest well wear your bloody masks and keep moving forward and we will see you next week for my birthday bye <laughs>